Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Troutbeck Head in the Lake District. So let's go and take a look around. We start our journey today just crossing the M6 on the A66, heading west in the direction of Keswick. We're a little bit early for Troutbeck Het, so we thought we'd take a quick pit stop for some lunch. And just on the way towards Reggad from the M6 roundabout, there's a Greggs and a Burger King, so we thought we'd treat ourselves. That's better. After our pit stop for lunch, we then headed to Reggad, again because we're a little bit early, and I quite fancied getting some biscuits. It also gave Roxy a chance to stretch her legs as well. We parked down here out of the way as it was fairly busy at Reggaet. If you've watched some of our previous videos, you probably see we've been here before. So it was a really convenient place to stop in and just stock up on some treats. It's always nice to have a bit of a look around as well. It's also worth noting that there's a cafe, restaurant and cinema in Reggaet. There's also this area called Gather where you can go and sit down, take a seat and get yourself a coffee. There's also these handy pods outside. It's nearly time to check in now at Troutbeck Head, so let's get on the road and head down there. It's around 10 miles from when we crossed the M6 on the A66 and about 9 miles from Reggaed to Troutbeck Head and you take a left here. From where you turn off the A66 there, it's about a mile and a half down to where the Troutbeck Head. And here we are, you take a right here then first left and then head down the driveway and then you come to the site. On arrival, you check in at reception, which is just on the left-hand side there, just near the fish and chip board. And then once you checked in, you head through onto the site. Worth noting, I needed to have my membership card out and handy to show them, so it's worth having that with you when you go to check in. So now we're gonna pick ourselves a pitch. The pitches along the back side looks nice. How about this one right at the end? That looks good. Look at the views across there. So that's us pitched up now. So let's go and have an explore around the campsite. The Troutbeck Head Caravan and Motorhome Club site is part of the Caravan and Motorhome Club site network. And it has about 150 pitches and it's situated in a lovely valley between Penrith and Keswick. When we visited in November 2022, it had been raining quite a lot and it was quite an overcast and gloomy day at times. You can see the entrance here which we came in earlier and the track down to the site. You can also head down the road into the distance which takes you down to Ullswater. You can see the track down to the site there. So we're back down the drive and on the site you can see the reception building there on the left and there it is on the right and also the main facilities block here just coming up on the left hand side. 
Just on the left hand side as you pass the facilities block there's a children's play area which has various things for climbing on. Around the site there's various service points for recycling, waste and drinking water. We're back at the facilities block now so let's take a look inside. As you would expect the facilities are very clean with accessible facilities as well. There's also a laundry in this facilities block. There's a second facilities block further down the site near where we pitched up. You can see the pitches in this section of the site, again all hard standing with electrical hook-up. There's a motorhome service point in this area of the site also. Near the reception and main facilities block there's an area where you can wash your bike and your dog. There's a garden and just round the back of that there's a games room and an information room. Let's take a look around those now. Snooker or pool anyone? Go through into the information room now. You can find information on various local events and activities and also some handy places to eat out with some menus for the local pubs and restaurants. There's some seats and a table if you want to sit down and write something or maybe even colour in. You can see the outside and the way into the information room from here and it's just opposite the children's play area which we took a look at earlier. Another look across the pitches there. See the sun was starting to set at this point and gave that nice glow in the sky. There's an area of the site where you can let your dog off the lead. Just through here, you can wander up into the woods. At the end of the site there was access to the loft which is the facility next door which had live music and was open on some evenings. The pitches around the site all had electrical hook up and you can see it's hooked up here. Imagine the views and the sunset would be absolutely magnificent here on a nice day. It's worth noting that at the end of the site where we stayed the activity centre activities do go past and there was a number of quad bikes and you could hear some clay pigeon shooting happening in the distance. It didn't bother us too much and it was quiet overnight but just worth calling it out. And you've guessed it, it was raining again. This was the first go on a campsite of my new My Rider GB3 bike. Wobbly wobbly eh? Cycle up to the dog walk. I'd better head back now. We'll cover the My Rider in a vlog in a few weeks' time. Well, the weather forecast's not quite what it was expected to be this morning. It's raining. Let's take a wander to Harry's Bench. At this top end of the site, there's some lodges, 
and there's also some fully serviced pitches and this I think would be the quieter end of the site because it's away from the activity centre. We had a lovely peaceful evening away from the fireworks as it was bonfire night the night we stayed with just the sheep for company and the beck running through the valley. And I bet you can't guess where Roxy's heading. So Rachel, what did you think of Troutbeck Head Caravan and Motorhome Club site in the Lake District? We've had a lovely time. We came here for Roxy to get away from the fireworks at home. Um, it has been really good. It's rained probably consistently since we've been here, but beautiful sight, lovely scenery. We didn't hear one firework. We did have some noisy sheep though, which were brilliant neighbors, perfect facilities, and an amazing dog walk straight from the site so Roxy could be off lead. Wonderful, couldn't ask for more. What did you think? fantastic um the only thing to call out was there is an activity center next door kind of over that way and there was some quad bikes and you could hear a little bit of clear pigeon shooting nothing of any concern but just to be mindful of especially if you're down this end of the site there's a lovely little stream runs behind trout beck given the name of the site and uh really great love the scenery would definitely come back here Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.